Good afternoon, folks, and thanks for joining us. My name's Tim Wheaton. Today, I am joined by the former one welterweight world champion, Sebastian Kadastam. How are you doing today, sir? All good. Thanks for having me. Awesome stuff. Now, you're still up in Sweden. How soon do you leave for the U.S.? Tomorrow morning, so in a few hours. Ooh, nice, good stuff, good stuff. Now, you're going to be fighting Roberto Soldich at one fight night 10. Tell us, how's training coming along? How's the body? How's the weight? All that stuff. Everything is good, man. I've been... Uh preparing since my last fight i did uh, break my hand but i kept on training so everything is on point i'm ready to go excited excited oh, man it's good stuff he's a former ksw two division champion you're a former one champion like it's a it's a great matchup we're expecting some violence in this one what can fans expect in this match violence <laughs> <laughs> man i i think he's a great fighter uh, I do believe I'm a great fighter. I like the clash of our two styles together. He, he He's a good boxer. He comes forward. Um, he's a power puncher. Uh, I like power as well. I like to mix it up uh, on the feet. And uh, yeah, I think both of us are coming to, to uh, kill. So I'm ready. Kill or be killed. Let's Kill go. or be killed. Let's go. We're looking forward to it. And it's a big event. First event stateside. A lot of fighters wanted to get on this one. Is it a bit of an honor? Does it mean a lot to you to have been selected to be at this event? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, it's 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 an honor to fight a high profile name. It's an honor to be on the first show. Uh, and uh, yeah. I'm enjoying the ride. You've been on the road quite a bit. You fought all over the world. Now you're fighting in the U.S. You haven't fought in Sweden in a long time. Do you want one it's more match there? Huh? Do you want maybe one more match there? It's been a, quite a few years. Yeah, let's see if one comes. That's exactly right. Yeah. No, I, I admit I am a huge fan of Swedish power metal. Like I think Brothers of Metal is my favorite band. We all love Sabaton, of course. Is there what are you listening to now? Like, what do you recommend if if, if you're recommending some power metal to people? If you're into that kind of stuff, you should listen to Sabaton for sure. Sabaton is the top, top dog. Oh yeah. Dogs. Absolutely. What are you listening to right now? Like are, are you a metal guy or do you listen to some other stuff? I do listen to to some uh, Sabaton and some some uh, some metal like that, and some days I'm into rave music. Like I just want my head head to hurt almost mm. when I'm training, and uh, hip hop, and uh, it's different. It's different. Awesome. Every day is a different kind of violence. What's your like pre-fight go-to music or in training room music that would just be hit hit it hit it perfect? Well, like I said, it depends. Like if I have a lot of energy, I want to have something with a high pace, and uh, if I'm kind of slow, I want to listen to some some uh, almost depressing music so I can get angry and <laughs> yes, uh, go. It's it's different. I, I'm kind of. Uh, all in one and I, I like the music to match my mood so uh, it's it's different it's been a lot of uh, like metal and rock hard rock and and uh, that kind of stuff lately so yeah. yeah absolutely what is it about the Swedish country that makes such good like fight music you know what I mean like it, it's it's one of the best countries for it's a small country not a huge population, yeah. but it makes a lot of great music. What's it about the people there that makes violent music? Nah, I think, uh, man, I'm glad you said it. I didn't know we were known for, like most Swedes don't listen to to metal or most, or maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe they do. The people I, I know don't. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, we do have some roots. Going back, uh, a lot of it's been a while, but we did have some warriors from here. So, so I think it kind of resonates with with people, you know. That not even not not only the Viking era, but we we did have half of Europe at at a time. So, yeah, 
we got we got some blood in the bloodline. Oh, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Now we got some big fights coming up. It's going to be on May 5th coming out of the U.S. What's your prediction for the main event? Demetrius Johnson and Adriano Marais fighting for the third time. What do you make of it? I'm excited for that one. I, I'm I'm kind of torn apart. I, I like I like both both of them. Um, I do think uh, DJ has uh, he's a he's he's a better fighter a little bit uh, all around. Man, I think he's he's the greatest of of all time. It's it's hard to to ruin him up, but I I. Do like the matchup, and and I think it's gonna be a close fight, like like the last two. Man, it, it's uh, I'm looking forward to it. The other two each ended with a flying knee knockout. I mean, it's gonna be fireworks upcoming here, right? Okay. Uh, uh, now let me ask you, who are some of the fighters that you looked up to when you were getting started? Because I've understand you've been in fight sports since you were 12 years old. It's been a while. It's been a while. Like we had, we had some Swedish fighters in in K1, like Jurgen Krut and and those guys way back, and uh, I, I I like the kind of guys that you know came forward and and one of my biggest uh, influence to fighting style is Ola Larson and I uh, and I started training for real with him when when I was nineteen and that's just if you've never seen him fight you should go watch some fights of his but it's just hands down okay let's go and and uh, yeah it's exciting and that's kind of from the beginning what i wanted to bring you know you hit me i'm gonna smile and i'm gonna hit you twice back so and and that comes from all the loss and so he, he's one, one of my biggest uh yeah role models in fighting and and, and uh, the one i looked up to coming up Awesome stuff, man. Awesome. And, and now there are a lot of young fighters who would be looking up to you in the same way that you looked up to your idols. What advice would you pass on to fighters who are maybe just starting out in any of the combat sports? But if if that it is, I'm grateful for that. Yeah, you know, train hard and, and it's, it's not always about winning, you know, bring the show and stay true, stay true to yourself and your team. Awesome stuff, man. Huge fight coming up against Roberto Soldich. Now, who do you want after it? Are you looking at Christian Lee? Are you looking at Murad Ramazanov? What would you like after this fight? Man, it's just this fight in my in my mind, and uh, I think we have big fights coming up. Either way, if if it's a rematch with with uh, anyone of of my previous, uh, or if we're going for the title. Uh, I couldn't care less. Next Friday, Soldic. Let's go. Let's do it, man. All right. You're going to be fighting at one fight night 10 on May 5th against Roberto Soldic. Sebastian, talk us on out of here. Shout out who you need to shout out. Thank who you need to thank. All that good, good stuff, sir. Man, everyone that supports from the States, from Asia, from Sweden, wherever, I, I appreciate you. And, and uh, I'm going to put on a show for you guys. And Thanks to my team, Pancras Hume, and my coach, Omar Boyish. And, uh, yeah, we're going hard. We've been, we've been training hard. We're ready. And, uh, yeah, kill or be killed. Let's go. Let's do it, brother. Hey, thanks so much for your time. Best of luck, sir. Thank you. Thank you.